There comes a time in a person's life when the harsh realities of life dawn. Realities that may be plagued by the harshness of a world we felt so strongly a part of. Until we find ourselves drifted away by the sheer negligence of the same world we fought so hard for. Our firm convictions of the securities of this world are finally put to task, queried and disproved. Our trust in the faith system that does not only convince us of a better, li of a better place in the nether life, but also keeps us delusioned about our role in our present life. Our trust in the medical system that offers us no real solace, but the declining association with the truth that surpasses the sciences of our days. From opudaic nights to hypocritical oaths, none can rescue the broken in spirit, neither the bruised flesh. All they can utter is, sorry for your loss, I wish I could have done more. Yet more was only a thin straw, yet undrawn. May his soul rest in the bosom of the Lord, they say. There comes a time, yes, there comes a time that our loss can never be retrieved. Like the time we had with Fifi, the son of the young scientist Eugen, and the heir of Aja Buckner's sculptural idiom. From the bosom of Minana's strength and resolves and a custodian of the Holy Mary's loss, supposedly found. Found? Show me a spirit lost and found. There comes a time, times and half a time, that the soul of the dearly departed is neither remembered or sung. Today may be the time when we roll our tongues in dirges and weep in surges like children without a suckle. Weep not, for Baba isn't far gone. He has mounted the pale horse with a saddle and he rides into the lands of Bosumifi. Quincy Arthur Bosumifi has left us to the lands of Bosumifi. There came a time when he touched the weak in heart, shared with the poor of the earth, and uplifted the spirit of the downtrodden. So there has come a time that we the vain, we who are left with the whims of this life, we who still cling to our breaths and possession as if we were not sane, we who now mourn the spirit of the liberated, we who have loved and betrayed, we who saw or never saw Charles Fifi Payne, Babatunde Akiumi Bakna, now we have to set him free. We have to set him free to walk the walk of Ananum. There is a time to live and a time to die. May the soul of Daddy live eternally in the bosom of our Lord. Amen. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. Daddy, Mr. Buckner, if we are sweethearts, Dad, that's how I'd fondly call you all the time. So many thoughts and memories to cherish have run through my mind since you went to be with the Lord that fateful day, May 23rd, 2017. It's grossly understated if I call it a big blow because it was too sudden and the pain very sharp. You had been everything any son would want in a father and a proud son-in-law in his cherished wife's dad. The hours and end chatting, the amazing stories, the advice, the jokes, the very viewpoints, but most of all, the wise counsel and the warmth of your presence. I will remember to call loved ones often to check up on them, as you would always encourage me to do. I'll miss you, Daddy, if one misses you dearly. And as for Kofi, you will have a patriarch par excellence to live up to. Like the verse above, we weep only because we miss you, but we are sure, we have sure hope that you are in a much better place. Continue to cheer us on we will make you proud. Demi Fadi, Jenny Amami, love you. Romans 14, verse 8. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Dearest Daddy, you are always so full of joy and substance. It was such a pleasure always being around you. You had so many jokes and stories to tell, and I would never notice time flying by when having a conversation with you. Even when you were not in your best state, you still happened to see the bright side of everything. 
I will really miss your wise advice and all the motivation you continuously had for me. You are an amazing mentor, and I will follow through with all the advice you gave me to start my business, if only you were here to see it. I'll miss your love for the good things in life, the way you spoke about food and the mannerisms you would make when speaking about all the delicious things you wanted to eat. Whenever I called you, you would answer with so much joy. Hey, beautiful. I won't be hearing that anymore, but at least I am comforted by the fact that you are no longer in pain and have gone on a long journey far away. I'll bring you your muffins in heaven. So we meet again. Rest in perfect peace. Yahweh Jubal. To my daddy dearest, my hero is gone. This reality, daddy, is extremely difficult to accept and to live with. But the Lord is my strength. As we jokingly used to recite during our childhood, if her adventure, some misfortune occurs on your journey, then it is the will of God. Neya and my Lord, would you not look at him? Your passing is indeed a great misfortune, Da. But whether or not it was the will of God, only he knows. We are, however, rest assured that you are resting in the bosom of your maker. On the morning of the 23rd of May, 2017, Two days after I had been to see you at the hospital, Mummy came home with tears in her eyes to break this bad news to us. How could the one man who has always been there for us at every stage of our lives be gone? From our beautiful childhood through to our naughty teenage days and our adventurous adulthood where we had to take decisions on what to study our career paths and our life partners. You were the guide that Mummy, Eja, Kojo and I needed in our lives. Our greatest cheerleader, our counselor, our biggest fan. You believed in us more than we did in ourselves. You carved us into the people we are today, Daddy. We were like plain canvases and you were the master artist who with every stroke brought into our lives color, creativity, love, excitement, gentleness, value, worth, purpose, and pride. Just as you were getting ready to reap the fruits you had sown, you left. Daddy, you did everything with a flair I had seen no one do. You were truly a treasure a one-in-a-generation kind of person. You loved family so dearly and embraced everyone like they were one. You respected everyone. Indeed, you were by all standards a gentleman. You had a great sense of style and unique taste for everything. Food, clothes, music, You lived every minute of life with a fascination only knew, you knew how to express. You even made drinking water seem like luxury. What a man you were. <laughs> Your sense of humor and creativity won you admiration from all parts of the world. I am grateful to God to have had the privilege of calling you daddy. You loved God and always expressed gratitude for all the things he did in our lives. Just as you were grateful to God for us, so are we overflowing with thanksgiving for the amazing man he blessed us with. 
I will gladly behold for the rest of my life the beautiful memories we shared. The memory of us as children running and competing to take off your shoes and socks when you got home from work. The memory of bringing back the lights with a wave and a bim salabim. The memory of you driving us on adventure trips to see our country in our best life. Playing dumb, ludu, or ware, and the like. <laughs> the memory of you telling your hilarious, absurd stories. Your rare mantras like, say edere, hum di di ma hum a hum tom. Bre, edze, edze, edze. Why a dad often? The memory of you being so proud of me as you walked me down the aisle and gave me away on my wedding day. The memory of our father and daughter dance. The memory of you holding your grandson Kofi a few minutes after he was born. And many more pleasant memories we shared in our private moments. I will miss the sound of sweethearts coming out of your mouth. I will miss you, Dad, so much. After many days of tears and struggle, I do not bid you farewell. For though you are gone in the physical, you still remain. In Latin, the language you so loved, I say, requisant in sinu domini. In Chinese, the language you were so fascinated with, I say, Shangdi Bao Yoni. In English, the language you commanded with such flair and tact, Daddy, rest in the bosom of the Lord. In Panti, the language of your heritage, the language you prided yourself in, I say, Meja. You will forever be my daddy dearest, and I, forever your sweetheart, Shorizi, Miss Busy. <laughs> <laughs>